My name is Dominic Rogers Sitam. And Dominic, what do you do for a living? I'm an actor, director, I'm also a dancer. Tell me about the history of drama or theater in um, African history in general or Zambian history? Okay, like uh, in our Zambian history, drama I think started way, way back. Because if you go to see some of our traditions, uh, tradition ceremonies, you find that uh, there'll be part where they will act how maybe they moved from one place to the other place. So they do it in acting, but as well as they were doing that, they didn't realize that was acting. They took it like, okay, we have to show this, and it happened. But that's how drama connects the, to our history. And um, I think uh, we have it almost uh, uh, all over uh, this country. Did drama have a purpose then? Did it, it was drama done for a reason? Yeah, uh, first up, drama was not taken seriously like uh, uh, someone can earn a living through acting and stuff like that. It was taken as something that they would just um, uh, use to, uh, to, to play like they, they, they just want to have fun and stuff like that. But uh, as time went on, the, uh, other people took it serious and uh, said, look, fine, this is something that can be done at a serious level and that's how some of us come in and now we do drama for a living and you know, I do theater for a living I've been doing theater throughout from the time I completed my school I have been doing uh, theater and that's what uh, puts bread and butter on my on my table could you tell me about some of the productions that you've uh, been a part of yeah I've done a lot of productions I've done um, um, uh, uh, for theater, I have done uh, productions like Wisdom of the African Drum, which is uh, a, a production that talks about uh, Pan-Africanism. Okay. That's what like introduced me into theater, like serious. And uh, I, I toured with this production to so many places. Uh, I, I toured with it. To, I went with it to Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa, yeah, and uh, locally we've been, we've performed it, uh, we performed it around. So from there, I think my interest uh, grew uh, in, in terms of uh, doing um, uh, traditional production. I enjoy traditional production than the, the modern production. I mean, if you give me a traditional story, I'll go with it to the end. Um, a good example, like uh, right now, I am working on two uh, traditional productions. One, I am directing. Uh, the, the other one, I am um, I'm an actor. I was casted as a chief, and I'm the one like who is driving the story. Any similarities or differences between European or Western drama, and is it very similar to the structure of African drama? Uh, the, How does it compare, in other words? Uh, I think uh, the similarities are there, though we have our own ways of telling our stories as Africans. So if you are doing a production, you can't like yeah, compare it to uh, a, a, a production done by Shakespeare, you know? But I, I think that's where we get all the tactics and stuff like that. But uh, in terms of comparison, these are not productions that you can compare. The Shakespearean uh, productions will be done and, uh, and they are, because that's another traditional way of doing production. And then also we do it the way we understand our culture. So there is a different, a difference. I mean, but not very much. Um, actors seem to have uh, trouble making a living in the world, unless they become uh, one of three uh, percent. Uh, how is it for, uh, for the uh, Zambian actor just to make a living? Do they have to have another job to survive? Yeah, where we're coming from, we couldn't just depend on theater. Uh, it was uh, it was quite tricky. Even for me, I can say this: when I decided to say I'm going to do theater, I'm going to do drama seriously for a living, even my family didn't believe that I could do that. 
So it, uh, it takes determination. A few of us said, okay, we're going to make this as our job and work. And um, I think we, a few of us have managed. And now everyone is coming on board because now it is paying. But when we started, it was very difficult yeah, for one to earn a living through drama. But now it is. In some countries in the West, uh, there's grants for actors and so forth. Uh, do you have assistance from the government at all or any organizations to help young actors uh, get a start? Uh, it's uh, here, I can't say it is common in that way where you get grants. It's very difficult to get a, a grant, but grants are there. When you're lucky at that time, you get it. So it is not like obvious that I'll get a grant and work on a project, you know. Yeah, most of the times what we do, I love to work. If I, there's a project that I want to execute, I'll work, um, make my money to execute that project. In terms of grants, uh, not very much. Is there any connection between television productions and uh, theatrical productions? There is a, a very big connection uh, because, as you know, uh, one can't just go straight to, to, to television. I mean, love to pass through uh, what we call Broadway, I mean, theater. And, uh, but there are others who have gone direct to, to do uh, uh, TV series and stuff like that. If you get an actor that has gone direct to TV and somebody that has passed through stage theater, there's a big difference. You won't have much problems with the one that has passed through theater, but the one that has gone to direct to TV will give you a little bit of problem because their understanding differs from this. An actor has passed through stage uh, has, 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 has had an opportunity to communicate to the audience direct. So it, screen, I mean, camera doesn't really become a problem for him. Uh, what about uh, connection between the film industry and television and drama? Any uh, can I, anything to say about that? We we are growing slowly. I can say some work has been done. We now have a theater, uh, the, like we have theater uh, houses. We also have now uh, 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 production houses that are into film, uh, that are into series um, uh, and, uh, and uh, documentary and stuff like that. So I think we, we have a connection this time around. Uh, we are able to relate those people from the stage, the ones that are into film and, uh, and, and stuff. Are there any themes that seem to come up in Zambian uh, theatrical productions? Um, are there any common themes or are they very varied? What type of themes come up? Yeah, we do have uh, themes that come up, like uh, at the moment, we are very soon we'll be celebrating our independence, which is the 60th independence. So everyone now is talking about where we're coming from and where we are. You know, so there's a lot of um, uh, uh, productions that have uh, been attached to to, to 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 the independence of the theme and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are there any? What influences Zambian uh, theatrical productions? Any particular style uh, in in Europe or North America, or is it? Uh, has a uniqueness of its own. It's um, what I would call theater for development. Theater for development, uh, uh, is, this is where you go to communicate to people. You follow them to their place and communicate. You pick a production that uh, has a theme and then uh, you go to educate them using that theme. And uh, the uniqueness about theatre for development is that you don't just end at performing and living. You you will perform and then also leave uh, uh, a space for question and answers. And uh, like that, you'll be able to interact with the audience. Like, what did they get from the production now? Do, do they really have that problem in that community? If they do, what are they going to do? Uh, following what they have seen in the production. So this is uh, maybe one unique uh, uh, type of uh, 
uh, uh, methods in terms of theater that we use here. Is there uh, institutes in Zambia for training young people in uh, the theater? Yes, we have uh, one I can mention uh, with confidence that is training theater is Zambia Open University. Uh, uh, yeah, that which was started by uh, Professor Dixon Mwansa now uh, is a chief uh, somewhere in northern province. Yeah, he really fought for that and uh, I'm happy to say so far there are people been trained uh, from the Zambia Open University and apart from that we have other theater groups that do like uh, simple trainings in acting, simple training in, uh, in directing, simple training in, uh, in, uh, in dancing. When it comes to dance, one prominent group I can mention with confidence is Zuba Nimoto, which is based in Ngombe. They have groomed a lot of uh, dancers, uh, dramas, uh, in terms of traditional dancing and drumming. What about the future? Um... What can you visualize changes in the next 10 years or changes that you hope will happen? What do you see for the future? The future looks bright because uh, I see young people coming up. Uh, like uh, we say when we are chatting uh, in our theater circles, we say we are assured because we know young people are coming up. And those are coming up strong, coming up with good production, and they're showing to sell. They are ready to take over from us. Uh, so with that, uh, we, can, um, we can be sure to say the future looks bright, and we expect people worldwide, they should expect uh, big productions coming from Zambia.